General Pipe Cleaner's Genai Video Pipe Inspection and Location Systems are ideal for inspecting and locating buried sewer lines, pipes, and cables. You'll know what the problem is, where it is, and how deep to dig. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Genai Video Pipe Inspection and Location Systems. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Genai can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Genai can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Be sure the unit is plugged into a grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord, no more than 50 feet in length. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Never use the camera in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Do not operate the camera while standing in water. Do not use the equipment in confined areas where combustible or toxic fumes may be present. Be wary of buried power lines, utilities, and other hazards. Before you dig, contact one call and any utility companies that do not subscribe to one call. Have all underground pipes and cables located and marked before digging in the area. Read the operator's manual before using the equipment. Contact General Pipe Cleaners if you have any questions about operation, maintenance, or equipment use. To begin, open the command module case. If you are using the Genai SD or Vista, unwind the interface cord from the reel and plug it into the reel input connector on the command module. If using the microscope, attach the three-foot probe rod or the interface cord from the reel to the connector at the top of the handheld monitor. Plug the AC power cord into the AC connection or DC cord into the DC connection on the command module. If using the Genai pod, connect either AC or DC power cords at the core of the reel. The unit will power up automatically. For the microscope, if the battery is not already charged, plug the power cord into the DC connection at the side of the monitor. Turn on the SD or Vista command module by switching the power button to AC for AC power or DC for DC power from your truck. Power up using the Vista's internal battery by switching to DC. Remember to turn the unit off when not in use to conserve battery power. To power up the microscope, press and hold the red power button for five seconds. To turn the unit off, you must press and hold the power button for five seconds as well. Turn on the LCD screen on the SD, Vista and Pod by pressing the monitor power button. You can troubleshoot 3-inch to 10-inch lines with the standard reel on the Genai SD, Genai Vista, and Genai Pod. Inspect smaller 2-inch to 4-inch lines using the mini reel with the same systems. Or use the Genai microscope to inspect inch and a half to 3-inch lines. If the pipe is large enough, be sure to use the 3-inch skid. It protects the camera head from abrasion and helps it slide around traps. If the pipe is larger than 4 inches in diameter, you should use either the 6-inch skid included with standard reels or the optional skids for 6, 8 and 10-inch lines. Release the reel lock and loosen the drag brake. Then slide the camera into the line. Be sure that the push rod is rated for the size pipe you are inspecting. Be careful not to force the camera around tight bends. If you see an obstruction, stop. Do not attempt to clear the pipe by using the camera head. Always use the proper tool for the job. 
Adjust the camera light level by using the LED dimmer control located on the control panel of the SD, Vista, and microscope. The control can be found at the hub on the pod. The self-leveling camera automatically keeps the picture right side up as the camera glides through the line. You always have an upright picture on the monitor, making it easier for you and your customers to follow the action. The self-leveling camera is only available on the standard size reels. The Genii SD and Vista include a date and time stamp and an on-screen distance counter. For the most accurate distance measurement, make sure the switch is set for the reel you are using. The SD and Vista have a built-in titler with full keyboard. It gives you nine pages of text to easily add your company name and job location to each video you make. The SD, Vista, and Microscope also include an internal microphone to add commentary to your videos. The Genii systems give you several options to record the inspection. The Genii SD includes an SD card reader. The Vista includes both an SD card reader and a DVD recorder. You can record on both simultaneously or you can connect the Vista directly to a laptop using the USB port. The microscope includes an SD card reader. The Genii Pod has a video out connection that can be connected to an external recording device. Detailed instructions for each recording device can be found in the complete operating manual. If you have questions, contact the Drain Brains. Once you see the trouble area, now it's time to locate it. Watch part two of this video to learn how to use the Genii Locator. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.